Hi, Mike here with AK Wetworks. Today, I want to share some information and thoughts with you about why masks work. Uh, it's been a pretty controversial and a, well, a highly discussed topic. Uh, some good, some bad. We're just here to provide you with some opinions and some information. And uh, we found a link that we thought was very important to share and uh, did a really good job at talking about masks and, and how we look at them and relate to them and how we know if they fit properly uh, based on the different types of masks that we're using because there's been a lot of talk about the virus is so small it, it gets through the weave and, and that's very true but they do a really good job talking about uh, moisture and water droplets that are actually bigger and that's what the uh, virus is attached to so those moisture and droplets are really big enough when they go through the mask, they actually stop the virus because they're caught and mixed with those uh, water droplets. So that was really important. It's a great point to look at and pay attention to on the video that uh, you go look. It's, it's a really good one. Um, the other thing that uh, we thought was pretty important was, uh, you know, they looked at all different types, bandanas and the, 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 the N95 masks. The, the stuff that you buy off the street, off the store, and they also, you know, really just kind of looked at, uh, you know, the homemade cloth, and, you know, I think their general conclusion was that face coverings work in general. Some a little better than others, but in general, they work, and they do what we're trying to get people to, uh, to do by wearing them. So, uh, with that said, uh, I wanted talk about the fitting because if you don't want it too tight you don't want it too snug and you think well hey how do you know if it's just right and I, I'm going to demonstrate here a, a few things so I have one that's that's too small and I have one that's too loose and then I have one that fits me just right so I'm going to start uh, and this is the candle test and from about a foot away if it's properly fitted and you have the right right amount of ventilation coming out you should be able to blow a candle out at about a foot. Uh, the other thing that's important to know, and we learned this the hard way, don't use decorative candles. The wicks are very thick and they're hard to blow out. So, uh, you know, most of the demonstrations are using a birthday or a tea light candle. So uh, just keep that in mind that you use the same type of candle when you're doing it so that you have good consistent results. So I'm gonna put this mask on. This one is actually uh, well fitted for me. Let me get it positioned, and I'm going to light my candle, and I'm going to hold it about a foot away, and I'm going to try to blow it out, just like that. So that tells me that the ventilation in this mask is fitted well for me. It's not too loose, not too much air is going out the sides, and it's not too restrictive and too tight. So, I'm going to do the same thing again. This is a very small mask. And you can see, it doesn't fit me good. It doesn't cover me good. It doesn't, it's tight on my nose. It, it's popping up around my mouth. Uh, it doesn't feel good around my ears. And com comfort is very important. So now, well, <laughs> definitely doesn't fit. So let me try again. You can see, first try, I couldn't blow it out because it, it's way too tight still can't blow it out two tries still can't do it all right so that one's too tight now I have this mask and this is my personal mask that I thought fit really good but as you can see it fits me very loosely too loosely and we're gonna do this candle test again let that go Too loose. All the air is blowing up in my face and around the edges. So uh, that's definitely too loose. I can't blow that candle out with that mask. So uh, it's a very good indicator as to whether your mask is properly fitted. Now, don't forget about your children uh, because they may not have uh, know if it's good, bad, or if it should be this or that. So make sure when you fit your children's mask, you know, you use the same, uh, the birthday candles work great and just have them blow that mask to make sure that it's properly fitted and the airflow and ventilation is working like it should. 
Now, the other thing that, I, that we wanted to share with you, and this was a great point, and they did a really good job at illustrating this on the link, but uh, it's worth a little bit more discussion, uh, is based on wearing a mask and not wearing a mask, what is that dispersion through the area, and particularly when we talk about social distancing, that six foot, uh, and so they really look at it from two, four, and six feet, and really try to show you in what it means to wear a mask and not to wear a mask. So what I'd like to show you here is uh, not wearing a mask and, and doing a cough test with the Petri dishes at two feet, you can see that this is heavily contaminated with bacterial and microbial matter, okay? This is no mask. Our, our mannequin here is not wearing a mask. And then as you move out and you get to four feet, you can absolutely see that, you know, it's not quite as heavy, but it's still very prominent. And then moving on down here to six feet, you can see that uh, there's still a potential. It's still there. It's in the air. So uh, very important. Now, versus wearing a mask, now we roll down and we look at the two feet. And you can see there's a little microbial there, very, very small microbial evidence. Then you get to four feet, none. There is no microbial evidence uh, from wearing a mask. And then moving on into the six feet, again, no microbial evidence of uh, contamination of the Petri dishes. So I think that we really got to pay attention to that and we really got to try to do better and, and understand that wearing a mask is there to protect the people around you and to have a good habit. When you are in a room, even with social distancing, the mask absolutely makes a difference. You can see here a protected sneeze. A mask helps contain that sneeze and that, the virus. Here, with an unprotected sneeze, you are in the line of fire. And if that person's infected, that virus is moving through the room up to six feet and beyond. I think, you know, overall, uh, they did a really good job with this and it's worth looking at. It's worth worth uh, taking the time. If you need a premier service in a premier antimicrobial product, we are the Permasafe experts here in Houston and throughout Texas. Uh, we focus solely on the best science available for disinfecting, sanitizing, and creating long-term microbial shielding. So if you need that, Please call us. We're here to help. We're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ready to mobilize. Uh, whether you need us for your business, to open your business back up, to keep it running, to keep it moving, to work at night, to work at day, whenever you need us, we'll be there. If you need that help at your home, uh, you have somebody that maybe is compromised in health, pregnancy, something that you're concerned about, and you want the extra measures, we can help you with that. Please call us. We, we love what we do. Uh, we've been here from the beginning. We have been fighting this thing uh, every step of the way with each and every one of you guys. We really appreciate uh, everybody that has supported us, that has befriended us, and that have, uh, have called upon us to help them solve their problems and their challenges related to COVID management. So please call us sometime. If you like this video and you like the, the information and the message that we share here, please share it, please like it. Uh, please subscribe to our to our social media sites and, and feeds. We appreciate the support. Listen, guys, keep safe. Be kind to each other. Find a way to look after and care for somebody that might need it. Uh, please step up to it. And until next time, we'll see you.